Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the first ever pilot episode of trying to film in the new store and hoping that it all goes according to plan. So <laughs> please bear with me. This is not normally where I would film in the new store. It's um, I'm actually in one of the escape rooms right now. This one's designed to look like a living room and it's the most cozy. So I figured I would try to get a puzzle done in here. I'm really excited to try this. Hopefully all the filming and stuff goes just as I plan. And at this point, any puzzle video is better than no puzzle video. This has been a real long time since we've done a puzzle video. And without further ado, da da da, the puzzle I'm gonna try. So I went to the dollar store today, you guys, and I got the foam board and stuff that I'm gonna use as my table. Um, and I came across this puzzle, which just kind of fit with the vibe as a whole. It fit with the vibe of the store. It's candy, it's fun, it's, um, and I'm kind of curious if dollar store puzzles are actually pretty decent quality because you can find some hidden gems at the dollar store on occasion. I do not recognize the brand. It's a Montoy brand. Never really heard of them. It's worth a shot. I mean, sometimes you can find cool puzzles in stores like in the mall and they're crummy. Um, and who knows, maybe we're going to find out that dollar store puzzles are secretly amazing. Anyways, let's get into this, you guys, and hopefully <laughs> cross your fingers and toes that this all goes well. All right, guys, here we go. Let's open this puzzle up. So again, it is a Thousand Toys Montoy puzzle. I have never done this brand before. I did get it from the dollar store for $4.75. I'm really curious if it's gonna be a decent quality or not. Let's see if this ends up being a hidden gem. So far, nothing too spectacular that's any different about the box itself. It just seems like a normal puzzle box. Hopefully the pieces inside are half as vibrant as the photo on the outside. I'm excited to see what we've got. Unfortunately, on my first impression, I do have to say the pieces felt slightly cheap even inside the bag. One thing I will say I was surprised to see, it looks like they've got their brand on the back of the puzzle. I wasn't expecting that. I, frankly, I was just expecting a blank backed puzzle. Uh, so, I mean, that could come in handy if you're the type of puzzler that it's great to verify. It's just nice to have something to work with to see if your piece is actually in the right spot or not, if you're ever unsure. I think I'm gonna set the box up somewhere back here, guys. I do apologize that you can't see it. It does kind of help me filming wise though, just to know sort of where your cutoff is visually so I can show you the puzzle. And here's a close up of the pieces. Again, we have the branding on the back. The colors look nice. I gotta say that the pieces do feel lower quality. Hopefully they still click together nicely. Um, other than that, not a lot of puzzle dust. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by that, that's um, that's unusual. If you've ever done like a Cobble Hill or Havensburger, you, uh, you know you're used to quite the amount of puzzle dust. Let's get this bad boy all sorted out. Um, if you guys have ever watched me sort before, <laughs> you know I literally just keep it on the side. So as always, I'm gonna start with the border first. Unfortunately, my first impression was correct so far. I have had some issues where there's been a lot of false fits. Um, it, it's still going together fairly well, but you gotta really watch sometimes to make sure that the pieces are actually in their correct home. It might come in more handy than I thought that they branded the back. That, that's gonna be great for verification. So I started out with the little heart candies. The swirls kind of immediately jumped out at me. So here's a fun little glimpse into my head when I'm sorting. It, it's literally like, I'm gonna sort the lollipop. I'm gonna sort the lollipop. Ooh, blue piece. Ooh, bubbly piece. Ooh. <laughs> literally my entire mentality with sorting, guys. I am so easily distracted. Honestly, I was amazed that I was able to focus on putting these lollipops together all at one time. Like that's, that's pretty impressive for me. That's not something that happens very often. I will say that this puzzle is actually a surprising challenge. These lollipops are making my head swirl. I'm looking at them and I'm literally just seeing color at the start. It took me forever to get the second lollipop started. I was so convinced that if I could just get that piece that connected the two of them, the lollipop would just fall into place. Eventually I abandoned that thought. This watermelon was so much fun to put together. I, I think this was actually my favorite part of the puzzle. And it was when I kind of started to feel like, oh, okay, yep, this, this is actually meant to be possible. 
It's a progress check, you guys. I have got most of the lollipops done at this point. I've got a few little other pieces here and there. The watermelon is done. It was so much fun to put together. Almost makes up for everything else. I am at a loss as to where to go from here. I'm looking at this and I'm like, oh, it's just colors. It's just assorted colors everywhere. The only thing I can think is I think I'm going to start now with these lumpy candies that, um, you're going to laugh at me. They make me think of fish eggs. That's literally all I can think of. I know they're candy. They look like fish eggs to me. Sorry, candy. <laughs> the, uh, the non fish egg candies were also very fun to put together. I gotta say, I enjoyed that aspect of this puzzle as well. The struggle that I will throw out there this entire puzzle I've been struggling with a lot of false fits I've actually been at the point where I've had to force correct pieces a couple times You guys have no idea how good it felt at this point like honestly I was starting to get very frustrated with the amount of colors that were just everywhere the pieces that were not fitting There was I don't even know if it was the little melon like looking things that just kind of did it for me all of a sudden But the jumbles of color just started to make sense and the ugly pieces started to fall into place All of a sudden everything felt so much better. I love that point of a puzzle when you've reached maximum frustration and all of a sudden it just starts to cooperate and makes everything so worth it. And here we are at the last piece. It feels so amazing to be done with this puzzle. Check it out, guys. Um, all in all, it was a fun-ish puzzle of swirls. Holy smokes on the lollipops. Ooh, they made my mind swirl. Um, gotta say, I really wanted to like it more than I did. Unfortunately, I would say dollar store puzzles are pretty dollar story. Um, would I do one again? No, I would not do a mono toy puzzle again. Um, so they were all right. Like it was, it was not the worst quality puzzle that I've ever done, but I also think that the quality could use some work. There were multiple pieces that would fit pretty much anywhere. Um, I will give it a little bit of the benefit of a doubt. I did realize partially on that the angle I was working at wasn't the greatest. Um, so that, that was a problem. That was more of a me thing, not a puzzle thing. So that could have been part of it. Um, but still the pieces didn't fit exactly the greatest. There were times that I'm like, ah, well, okay, so I could just put this anywhere or press really hard. Cause even if you think you've got it right, the puzzle might just disagree with you kind of thing. Um, so if you're a person who's frustrated by false fits, not the kind of puzzle for you. But I did, I do have to say on a positive note, the colors in the puzzle itself were actually pretty nice. Like I feel like the printing job that way was pretty good. I would give it a plus for that. That's, that's kind of one of the positive things that I took away from this puzzle. I feel like I got what I paid for. Like it's a, it's a $4 puzzle. It's not the most awful puzzle in the world. I would definitely save my money and buy something better. Or I would even um, go to a thrift store if that was kind of the price point that I was working with and trying to find in terms of puzzles. But all in all, it's still doable, still fun. Um, just, just not my first choice. All right, guys, this is really fun. Um, I probably won't film in this particular room again, as comfortable as it is. I did find, I think I need a higher table or something for this, but um, all in all, I think there are other places in the store that I can film. It was really good to make a video for you guys again. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and yeah, hopefully you guys are doing really well. Bye.